Hello everyone. Friends, how are you? I hope you are well. I hope you are well. I am very good. Today we will talk about 30 overlooked details about Attack on Titan, one of my favorite anime. Every time one watches it, we see that Isayama gives us many signs that Rainer Annie and Bertolt are traitors. Also, if you like the video, let's subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on notifications. Friends, these are very important to me. If you are very desired, I will shoot the second part of this series. Any other details you have noticed, please indicate in the comments. Now let's take a look at 30 details you may have missed so far in Attack on Titan. During military drills, when Aaron's head hit the ground, smoke was coming out of his head wound. This means that he was healed by his giant powers. When I first saw it, I thought it was a classic animation effect, but it was really well thought out. Annie, Reiner, and Bertholdt appear after breaking the wall and Armin's grandfather gives Armin his hat. In Season 4, Episode 9, we see Armin wearing a hat, but I'm not sure if it's the hat his grandfather gave him. In the anime, the dialogue between Reiner and Bertholdt is even more prominent when we learn the truth of the matter. <laughs> During the events of Reiner's second giant return to Eren, Reiner and Bertholdt are the first to arrive at the scene. Annie sees Marco's corpse and apologizes and Reiner says that apologizing is useless. In Season 4, Episode 3, in the scene where Bertholdt and Reiner are talking, Bertholdt tells the story of the man who hanged him. This story is not actually his story. In order to find out if the she-giant is from the 104th training unit, Armin uses Eren's nickname to say, Take revenge on this giant who killed this suicidal friend of ours. He says that Annie crushed him without realizing it. The ogre pauses for a moment so that Jean can save his life. During the events, Reiner and Bertholdt are surprised to learn that the giants have entered the wall. Reiner knows that the Conan's village is close to the wall, so he wants to go to his village with Connie. The axe that slipped from Sasha's hand while killing the giant that ate Kaya's mother appeared in Season 4, Episode 11. Connie's mother calls out to Connie and Reiner hears it, but pretends not to have heard anything so that it doesn't come out. <laughs> <laughs> While Emer is rummaging through the supplies in the castle where they are staying, they find a can and read the words Ken Herring on it. Reiner is shocked when he sees this can because he lies to Emer that he doesn't know this alphabet and while the two of them look at each other with extremely uneasy eyes, Someone enters the room and interrupts their conversation while he is about to say to Emer or you. The reason why Rainer is surprised is that the can is written in Marley alphabet and also herring is a saltwater fish found in the ocean, and it is impossible for someone who has never been outside the castle to know about it. Erwin's foresight and intelligence are very well reflected in the anime. In the manga, <laughs> Mikasa's mother puts the clan's insignia on Mikasa's arm. However, this scene is absent in the anime. When Rainer and Bertholdt see the monstrous giant, there is a look of confusion and confusion on their faces. <laughs> When the tower was collapsing, Bertholdt almost bit his hand out of fear. He could have turned into an enormous giant and killed all his friends, including Rainer. Zeke was holding a monkey toy in his hand, 
a nice detail that signaled that the monster giant would be a monkey. Girisha and his sister wore armbands when they were out and about and they were from Liberio. For those who have forgotten, Liberio is the hometown of Rainer and the place where the declaration of war was made. The person Aaron talked to in the hospital in season 4 was the grandfather of Aaron and Zeke. Aaron was saying the words that Kuruger said to Girisha and Girisha was saying them to his son Aaron. <laughs> Friends, in season 4, some may think that Aaron's goal is still to avenge her mother, but when we look at her conversation with Rainer in season 4, episode 5, she tells us that it is not so. Do you remember this scene, which I think is very important in the anime, Marco shouting, we haven't even had a chance to sit down and talk yet. To Annie Reiner Bertholdt before he is killed is one of the most beautifully referenced scenes in my opinion. Because we hear this phrase from another person in the following chapters, Armin. When the Recon Corps decides to kill Reiner with lightning spears, Armin jumps in front of Hang and says, But, we have to give them a chance to talk. At least if they tell us what they know, we can get somewhere. Reiner never gave Marco that chance. But Armin, the so-called devil's child, gave him that chance. <laughs> Dina telling Grisha that wherever you are, I will find you again, and when she goes inside the walls, she goes to Grisha's house as if she had put her hand on it. Just before Dina Fritz is turned into a giant, she says her last words to Grisha and smiles. Then he turns into a giant, so the last thing he did as a human was smile. That's why his giant form has a smiling face and that's why he's called Smiling Titan. Armin's Titan didn't have ears, but Bertholdt did. It is thought that Armin's Titan didn't have ears, because he didn't want to hear the screams of the people he killed. Marco's birthday is June 16th, which is half of a year. When he died, the other half of his body was eaten, and when Jean saw Marco, he wondered what happened to him, another subtle detail from Isayama. After Aaron kisses Historia's hand, he sees the events that happen in the future. That's why his face gets that expression. If you've already noticed, Aaron asks Connie about Sasha's last words after Sasha dies, and when Connie says, Meet. He realizes that what he saw is true. Aaron tells Mikasa to cut her hair because it will hinder her in the battle. In the last season, when Aaron grows his hair and fights with Armin's enormous giant, Armin holds him by his hair. I think this is a thoughtful detail. Aaron never opened his eyes during the rumbling because he didn't want to see the faces of the innocent people he killed. He only opened his eyes to see Mikasa one last time before she killed him. This is one of the sad details for me. Aaron doesn't show Grisha's face in episode 1 when his father tells him that he will show him the basement on his return. We understand the reason for this while watching season 4. While Zeke is traveling through Aaron's memories, their faces also appear. Yes friends, today we took a look at 27 details about Attack on Titan that you may have missed. I told you 30 of them, I'm leaving the last 3 of them to you. Do you think there are other details, there may be much bigger details that I overlooked or missed. If you like the video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.